me an update from yesterday. What's different today? Uh, last night, uh, went to bed, uh, still with fever, chills, night sweats. Uh, woke up about two in the morning, uh, sheets drenched, shirt drenched. Uh, since that time, though, uh, thankfully, I haven't been running any more fever. Uh, the one thing that has changed is that I have lost my sense of smell and somewhat of my taste. Um, the coughing has seemed to be subsided, but the shorter breath is a little bit worse. So I'm really not moving around a lot today. Talk to us again about your repertoire of drugs and vitamin combo that you're taking. Okay, whenever I wake up first thing in the morning, I take a, a multivitamin, I take a, a zinc complex uh, pill, and then I take high dose vitamin C, almost up to four grams. Uh, yesterday, I also got infused IV vitamin C. Uh, I also get up and take my Z-Pak azithromycin, and then I take my Plaquenil and my hydrochloroquine, and then I go outside and do a couple of breathing treatments. and. Uh, that's, that's what I've been doing uh, since Sunday going into Monday. Do you feel like that's really worked? I think the best, the best thing that's been working is uh, a combination of all the things that I'm doing. Uh, I know that some of the therapies that I'm doing is controversial, uh, and I'm basing mine based on science. I'm not basing it on politics. So uh, I feel that the regime that I'm uh, utilizing, which has been also a physician approved that is overseeing my care, not myself, uh, that that is the regimen that uh, this physician recommended. Wonderful. Are you also drinking lots of fluids? What are you eating? Oh, yeah. Yeah, um, I'm eating anything that I can uh, find that's worth tasting. Uh, I can tell you that my, my taste buds are bland, uh, but I will tell you like right now, my mouth is very, very dry and I've probably drank over probably a half a gallon or a gallon of water today. Um, the, the problem is it feels like there's a big weight on my chest, like a 50 pound weight. And so, you know, I mean, it's, uh, it's day by day, but I will tell you not having the fever it's good, but I will tell you, I'm tired. I, I'm usually never tired, and I'm really tired right now. Yeah, I can hear you kind of gasping for air as you're just sitting there chatting with us. Yeah, I mean, it's it's hard to take a big, deep breath, uh, and I, I usually work out all the time, but uh, right now, my lung capacity is definitely decreased because of the way that this virus sets in. So obviously we know when we have a fever, that's our body fighting off something going on inside. So do you think that means we're on the upside as far as your recovery because you no longer have a fever? I hope that that's the, the case. Uh, I've heard many different instances that the one positive thing about spiking a fever, talking to like one of the head pulmonologists here, that all the cases that he's seen where they've had fever and they get chills, they do pretty well. So I'm glad that my body is setting up an immune response and I hope that I'm on the downward uh, slide of getting back to normal so that way I can donate plasma and let my antibodies help people that are really, really sick. Beautiful, absolutely. Um... You know, there are so many unknowns about this virus so far, and we're learning more every day. Um, again, today, what's your advice to folks watching out in the community, masking up, thinking this might be serious or what have you? Like I said yesterday, Tiffany, the presentation of this virus is different for every single person. I will tell you, I got a call earlier today from a friend of mine that says, hey, I have severe nausea, vomiting, and diarrhea. I went and got checked. I'm positive for coronavirus. Another person said, hey, I just lost my sense of smell. They have coronavirus. I also, like, for example, my wife. My wife was thinking that she was having uh, women problems but she, and having joint pain, muscle pain, abdominal cramps. She ended up having the coronavirus. So what I will tell everyone out that is watching do not believe that a cough and fever are your first signs. If your body lets you know that you don't feel normal, please get tested so you're not spreading the disease. Thank you, sir. Anything else before we let you go today? No, my, my final three things, wear a mask, wash your hands, and socially distance. There you go. Thanks. Thank you. Have a good one. Thank you. You too. Bye-bye.